Don't walk on those. Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today we are going to start a solar project. Uh, we're going to be building a small solar generator, a solar collection system down the hill by the garden. Uh, I've tried a wind generator down there and had it kind of a fail. And so now we're going to try a solar system down there and hopefully this will work a little better. So I've got a few miscellaneous solar panels that I have collected over the years. I've got a few different kinds I'll show you. And what I'm going to do is just try to make a frame today. We're going to we're going to get the welder out. I've got some scrap steel laying around. We're going to weld together a frame, get a post in the ground. Let me show you what I have and uh, how we're going to start to put this thing together. I have five different solar panels. So I was trying to figure out a configuration where these all fit together just right. And unfortunately, that panel is just about an inch bigger than these ones. And so nothing will line up. However, these panels, uh, the old Texas solar panels, are the same width. And so I think I'm going to leave that one out of this grid, out of this system. And this will be in, uh, in probably the next video. I have these uh, Lime USB uh, batteries. I've got uh, two different batteries that we're going to be putting in here. And then I do have an inverter and some other DC hookups I can use for some of the other power banks I have to, to, to power things. So I'll have to build some kind of a battery box underneath this thing, an inverter uh, spot to have an inverter and an outlet on the pole. Uh, this thing is going to be a ground mount system, so it's going to be just, uh, you know, at maybe four feet off the ground. It won't be real high and uh, just point it towards the sun and, and uh, charge up those batteries when I'm not using it. And then when I'm down there, I'm only down there using things maybe once a week or so. So hopefully throughout the week it'll charge the batteries all up and then when I'm down there I can, I can use it.
so stand up here and hold hold the solar panels. I'm gonna go super slow. It's we're just, gonna, we're gonna but go. once you go down the hill, it's gonna go woof. Well, yeah, that's where you're gonna have to hold it. Dad, Dad no, Dad, don't do this. I'm scared. Dad. Once you move, it's going down. Dad. It's not gonna fall off. Dad. Dad. Dad, it's really pushing on my arms. Not good. <laughs> it's not even moving. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I would have liked to have welded on a some type of a brace at the bottom if I would have thought about that earlier, but I, I had this extra piece right here, and so it's just gonna get bolted to the bottom there. I'm just letting the paint dry on it right now. It'll get bolted to the bottom there and, and just get lagged and right into the side. I've got a lag bolt right there, so that'll that'll keep it st uh, stable because it does, it does kind of move a little bit and if we get some real high winds it's like a big sail so i think if i get that support at the bottom it should be good but but the frame itself is super sturdy i have it plugged into my uh, blue eddy uh, power station 170 170 so that's 340 
uh, plus 200, so 540 watts total. So I didn't set this to uh, rotate or to pivot in any way, uh, this way or, or this way. Uh, I, just, I just don't have a need for that right now. Uh, this thing is not going to get used that much and so as long as it can keep I've got some a whole system to set up down here with an inverter and batteries if that can stay down here and just keep charged with this thing even if it only gets you know four hours of sun a day uh, it'll charge up those batteries and when I come down I just have power to use as far as the frame is concerned that we built it didn't cost anything this was a bunch of scrap steel that I had laying around and just so you know uh, you can go to any scrap yard uh, most all of them anyway uh, there's one here close to where I live and they said you can basically just come and look through our scrap pile for steel anytime you want to and then we'll just weigh it out and you just pay pay what it weighs. One of the things I learned a long time ago was save everything. These are all screws from various TV mounts. Uh, that Almost all the screws that I use there minus a couple bolts I think that I, put, I found. Uh, all these screws I found nuts that, and washers that matched them and all this was free. This was stuff that I had laying around. I saved all the extras from all my TV mounts that I've done over the years and this came in real handy. And these panels have been sitting in my garage for years. I had a plan to set up something at our greenhouse in the old, at the old uh, farm and never did. The two panels at the bottom are the Bausch RV uh, panels. These are the 170 each. I don't think they make this model anymore. I think they have 180 uh, watt now. And now those are old Texas Solar, which I think is out of business. These were originally on my portable power station, which you can see sitting over there. Um, but I replaced uh, the two panels with a single 200 watt panel. So I still have the portable power station, which I could actually wheel over here if I really wanted more power and tie them together. In the next video you'll see on this project, I will be building the uh, uh, electronics box or battery box, I guess you could say, that will house the, the charge controller, uh, the batteries, the inverter wiring, and then I'll put an outlet out here and all that good stuff so that it's a regular power source. Uh, right, you know, I can just come down here to extension cord, plug in and use tools in the garden, uh, work on things down here as I'm building other things uh, in this area. So stick around for the next video. I've got some, uh, some really cool products to show you. I've been collecting these things over the past few months, batteries and inverters and wires and charge controllers and all these different things I've been getting uh, on Amazon and other places. And so I'll show you all the things that I have that will make this work. We'll get it all wired up and we'll, uh, we'll test that out hopefully on a sunny day. Don't forget to uh, reach out and hit thumbs up. Makes a big difference on all of our videos. I always appreciate that. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.